Howdy everyone, we're back to more Final Fantasy X Part 2. We have been making pretty strong progress so far in this game, which has pleased me to no end. I think just speak a little bit to Final Fantasy X 2 as well. It's not the longest game in Final Fantasy series, you know, but that's probably more of a strength, I would say, than anything else. Uh, however, since the last video that I did, uh, I actually went on my first kind of, I wouldn't quite call it a grind session, but there was a little bit of time that was spent between video and see here up to um, about six hours was spent off screen doing a variety of bits and pieces um, so uh, let's go and chat about that quickly we will be covering some plot in this game visiting more locations obviously we've got to hunt down some syndicate uniforms but uh, yeah we did do a little bit of off screen work uh, our levels have increased as such I did a little bit of grinding uh, mainly to get some levels on Yibel and Elmar specifically, who have changed a fair bit actually since the last time we've seen them. Um, and that's getting them ready for future trips into the Fiend Cup, which I'll be doing, because there are plenty of rewards for us to get at home from there still. Um, so, that gave me the ability to use the Intrepid Garment Grid that we got from said Fiend Arena Cup. Um, I made a mistake when I first saw this. I said when you equip this, you get no experience. I lied. This gives you protection against getting no experience. I hope I made an edit at some point in that video. But yeah, but uh, a little bit of a mistake on my end. It is what it is. Either way, still being able to cycle through three spheres really quickly and get triple AP for everything you do in that conflict is still very strong. So combine that with using the creature on the side, they're still gaining levels and such is pretty darn strong. Uh, I also had two changes off for the purpose of that. We'll turn them back on though for the time being. Uh, I didn't, yeah, didn't do too much actual physical grinding, um, like the bit of gun mage stuff for Yuna, a bit of songstress and a bit of white mage going on as well. I do want to get into warrior for Yuna, but I just haven't quite got around to it yet. Uh, Riku uh, with a bit of black mage. She's got all level two um, magic now, which is pretty cool. And then basically ready to start cracking on with trying to learn some of the tier three. It's going to take a while though. A uh, bit of warrior for her as well to support pain and pain with a bit of warrior. Uh, Festivalist actually doing some work for her to be quite enjoying that actually. I want to get some use out of that and a little bit of gunner as well on the side. Um, so that is that. The majority of my time was not spent fighting. It was actually spent in the calm lands. And I think this is actually worth me explaining a bit what's going on here. Because there has been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes here at the calm lands. But I should probably explain what's been happening. So, side quests. Let's start off with those. Um, first off, we've got the uh, the guy we're trying to find um, the husband for. Uh, there goes the bride, whatever it's called. Chat this guy and let you know who his rating is. And uh, we have we have we have solved this quest. Um, you need to get it up to. It doesn't really matter, like realistically. You need about like 30 or 40 points to get the best item that you can get from this quest. But if you go up to like 150 odd, uh, you can change how the ending works. Either way, this has been completely resolved. I don't need to chat with any more getting this guide any more uh, interest. So that is totally done, which is nice. Uh, once you talk to this guy in chapter 5, this will resolve itself. Also, once you've done the business with Clasco at the Fiend Arena, there's this little chocobo here that will shortcut you to the ranch, which I really do appreciate. Now, the next thing we're going to do is have a chat with one of these representatives. Uh, I'll go up this way for it. So, part of a lot of what I've been doing off screen is going through uh, areas again, so Besaid, Luca, Killica, all these sort of things, and speaking to various individuals so that we can raise the reputation of the uh, the promotion companies here to solve that quest. Um, we have been doing pretty good work actually as well with Argent Inc. specifically. I go to the plot best you need here. Uh, we can see we're at rating 556, which is actually well in excess of what you need to get publicity level 5. And that's what you got to do. The objective of this quest is to get one of the companies to publicity level 5 and then come visit here in chapter 5. Now, the reason we're only level 3 is you're only allowed to go one level above the chapter you're on. We're still on chapter 2, hence level 3. But if we did nothing else and never touched the Calm Lands ever again, we come in chapter 5, it's done. However, there are some extra bonuses you can get for getting both companies up to level 400, which actually means we've got to get one company up to 800, because then when we switch, we lose half that rating, get them up to 400, and that's basically the way we've got to do it. 
minutes. So I'll continue doing the work on the side. The, however, the problem is, is that you will not get this anywhere near enough what you need to do for both companies by just simply talking to people and raising and building up that way. Um, you have to play games and you've got to, you've got to play a lot of them. So my suggestion to you is if you want to actually go ahead and try and get forward in both of them is play Sky Slots. Uh, specifically, probably in Chapter 2, come here to play Spy Slots. Um, Sky Slots, even. There's a few games here, um, but this is by far the most efficient way to generate publicity. Publicity is earned by playing games by the amount of tokens that you lose spending playing games. It doesn't care how much you win. Um, and while this game is completely rigged against you like it's not even i'm not even joking come and play it yourself and you'll see just how screwed you are honestly my best suggestion to you is to come here buy like 20 30 grand's worth of credits or something like that um and just put it all on this and just keep spinning um spin on level three do maximum it's 50 credits a pop which is like about a couple of points of publicity every single spin hope you get some wins along the way um and you will generate a lot of publicity there i'll come back to probably do some more of this later on like in chapter three probably but that's what i'll be doing i spent like about an hour straight just spinning slots um i feel like i've done better things in my life but it'll be worth it in the end Another thing I want to make a mention of as well, which I should have done in when we first came here, is that you can trade in credits with both Arginate and Open Air in order to get hold of items from their shop. Uh, the, the item list from Argent here is expanded because we're level 3 here, so we can get everything from potions to silver arrow glass, spell tonics, but even the far end here, uh, we can get some soul springs, we can get the Hypno Crown accessory, which is pretty decent. I think that blocks all sorts of uh, set of for you. But I should have pointed out there's an accessory you can get from open air immediately. And I completely forgot about this from their side. You can buy a charm angle from for 500 credits, which is 5,000 gil. This is the item that you put on someone and you ignore basically every random encounter in the game. I should have got this last chapter. I just, I just didn't. And that's, that's kind of on me. Um, it should be noted if you don't buy any of these from open air, you will get a charm bangle before this chapter is through. Uh, there will be a boss there which will drop one, slash you steal one from, I can't remember exactly. Um, and this does make traveling, backtracking for like get hold of various items and such so goddamn much easier. So uh, get it here for five grand or wait until the back end of chapter you can get one anyways. Um, but that's basically all the business here. Um, and yeah, I just spent pretty much my whole time here. Um, a good place for grinding for AP, by the way, um, with the uh, the Intrepid Garment Grid. If you go up towards the northwest of this area, you'll tend to find a lot more of those amorphous gel things, which was like a boss fight in Final Fantasy X. And it's a great fight to basically just have warriors just keep slashing it, do virtually no damage, but it all counts with the AP. Have your white mages keep praying, stuff like that. And you just keep these fights sustained for a long time and do loads of abilities and get tons of ability points. Uh, it's a pretty good grind spot and would be my suggestion. Uh, but yeah, there's a little explanation of what's been going on. Super duper. All right, then. So we should probably go and visit some more places here, shouldn't we? I think so. Uh, I will be making a revisit to the creature creator as well. Again, all creature creator and fiend arena cup of it stuff will be in its own separate videos. If you don't want to see any of it, don't feel obliged to. But, um, you yeah, know, they are good times. As I said, like, we actually did some good work with, um, with the creatures here. Somehow, and I don't know exactly how, Yaibu learn in the course of battle Mega Potion. Which is so absurdly broken at this point in the game. A Mega Potion heals all pipe members for 2,000 health. It's a command for him. Doesn't cost me anything. It's it's pretty disgusting. Uh, Elmer is well doing pretty decent, actually. No fear, life, and haste, and such. Um, got on a Black Mage currently for the MP Absorb and to cast magic faster. She's doing alright, but yeah, White Boys. He is the star of the team at the moment. Very. All right, then. So, we need to go hold of some uniforms, don't we? So, we should probably start making a move on that. We have got a couple of other locations to visit which are not story-related, but we'll, we'll get there. Um, so, we know that we need to head towards Jose Temple, Beacon El Desert, and now Gagazet, the three locations we're going to head to. So, we're going to start off at Jose Temple.
Now, this little spawn was actually at Jose Temple itself, which is not exactly where we want to be. Um, but uh, you'll see what we're after here. Still some items for us to grab. Ah, actually, while we're here, there's something I can show off to you guys. Which reminds me. Also, I think I want to quickly mention quickly while I'm here as well. Um, we are going to be doing more Gunner's Gauntlet at the Sade. I went and looked up the list of rewards from that. And there is a lot of garment grids available from the Gunner's Gauntlet. So I'll do that in its own separate video as well. Anyways, we want to head inside here. Because do you remember when we came here? There was a guy that said he'd talk to us after we'd gone digging. In one of the chamber rooms. Well, and there's also like a, a pad down one of the sides as well. Let's go have a chat with some folks, shall we? Besides, Ruby Tingles. Hey, Gipple! What are you doing here? <laughs> you could say that. Having the time of my life, buddy. Having the time of my life. Well, Echo Screen is not too bad. I, I forgot he was here, truthfully. He's still posing. He's our PR guy. We want to go down to this side. Here we are. Here's the guy. Yeah. If you want to get more money, we can use the panel over here. And you can do this after having done some digs. I've done about like eight or nine digs, I think, in this game. Don't tell us. So, let's come over here and have a look. Accounts of your last period have been closed. As a result, your excavation count has been just reset to zero. Oh, man. You may result in a temporary drop in your wages, however, depending on the number of the activation you completed previously, it could be higher than before. And that will give us, that's a regular money that we'll gain after every successful dig. We're now 150 gear instead of 100. Not bad. Alright. Um, Let's see if we can get ourselves a raise. Damn. Alright, we need to do some actual excavations at Beacon Elm this chapter, and we can come by to apply for that. So, that's something we need to do. There's also this the parts catalog. Now, this will detail all the things that we have found in our Beacon of Digs. So, we've got some attack assemblies, defense, and special assemblies. Z, A, S, and A qualities. We also found a couple of random scrap metals as well, which also do something. But, um, it doesn't just list this for the sake of it. This is pretty relevant to something that will be happening later on in the game. And those of you who know what that is, know exactly what I'm talking about. So, uh, you know, worth pointing out. But if you want to look see what you picked up so far, there you go. All right, then. Good stuff. I mean, we can get that out of here. Now, if you decide to make your way here from the Mushroom Rock Road, or even the Mean High Road, things are a little different. Let's go even to Mean. I haven't been here since the fun and games. Uh, the northern route has been blocked off, unfortunately. You can't visit there. There's been a crash, basically. Uh, one of the hovers crashed off the side, so uh, we're able to transfer there. But fortunately, um, will you even ride me up there, or are you just going to totally block me? I actually don't know. You only take me to the south exit. Damn. Okay, that's fine. Here they are. Hmm. So, there is significant LeBlanc activity around here. <laughs> Jeez, actually deck the guy. Reserved, eh? And it'll be the same on the other side too. You might be able to just about see the games. He was getting some fights as well. I didn't expect that. Okay. Doctor Goons and Fem Goons, eh? Okay. Your physical attackers. Rude. Apologize. I don't know why I just clicked there. Right. That was nasty. You're gonna pay for that. Takers keepers. We're fairly strong for this area. We see is specifically here. Hmm, that's weird. Where did we drop that thing? We gotta find that sphere, or the boss will be furious. We might even get the heal. Mm. Why don't you stop complaining and help me look? Hey, did you hear that? Let's find it first. 
Someone's turning Yuna into a bad girl. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright. Let's grab the uniforms and a sphere while we're at it. We were actually getting some random fights while we're here. I ain't got time for this. These enemies are like way beyond us. There's just no real need. So let's run on down then and see what we can't find. I'd say that looks pretty interesting. Damn. Well, well. Enemies everywhere. Oh, I'm getting the fights like freaking all over the place. Here, for the love of all that is holy in the world. Maybe I should have put the charm bangle on. Oh well. Anyways, this looks pretty good. It's Yuna's special dress sphere, the floral fallow. So Strong. that's where it was. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. I appreciate you finding it for us, though. What? You're not giving it back? The nerve! <laughs> the gold wings. These meanies won't give me back the sphere! <laughs> so then we take it back. And on that note, take it back. For boss time you against. A medal. <laughs> For boss time against Ogre, Ormi, and Logus once again. Alright, it's gonna work. As always, make sure to get some stealing here going on. Will be of use to us here on the pair. They've got a lot of good gold, good, lot of yeah. good stuff for us. Also, they've got some pretty nasty attacks they'll start throwing us here as well. So we've got to be a little bit careful here. Mega Potion. Hello. Such sweet sorrow. I've got you. Right. Let's get going here. Thundara, that's not bad. Here, catch! Alright, give me some more pot shots here. What are you- oh, I missed him. That sucks. You know what, this actually might be a good time to actually kick in some of our spheres. Well, the Femgoon is down. Uh, sure. Let's get some of our new dress spheres out, shall we? I haven't changed our garment grids hugely. It's been some alterations. Nothing too extreme. Yeah, let's get out uh, Riku's Warrior here. And I'm also going to get out the Festivus here. Probably had a bucket ton of health. Really juicy. I do like this theme, by the way. So, uh, Riku's Soul Play isn't too far behind um, Pains, by the way. All the Elementals, all the Breaks as well. Um, fairly solid, um, solid going here by her. But the Festivus is definitely the interesting one. I'm putting some time into this. Funky as it is. So, festivities! Blind Earth and Poison Mask as well. Actually, straight just poison. The blindness should be pretty good here as well. Alright, you keep healing us, please, Yuna. That'd be so kind. Goodbye, little girl. <laughs> Hell Blitz into that. Protect is really strong in these fights because they do basically all just physical attacks, as you can see. Hush! You just silence me? Rude! They had to mess with my uh, trigger happy as well. Not good. Goodbye, little girl. Yeah, I'm gonna antidote you. Ant I meant the echo screen. I knew what I was trying to do. I'm just an idiot. Alright, I'm sorry. That missed. Always down. Good. <laughs> and off he goes. Delightful. Missed two, huh? Alright, let's get some trigger going here. 
This guy is screwed. Get out of my face. Do we need that much of a close-up shot? I don't know, but we could. Anyways, we have liberated a Syndicate Uniform. Nice. Yep. You better believe it. <laughs> Riku in disguise. Even runs like one of them. I would suggest so. Bad times to be all Nogus and Warmy. Bad times. Alright, so that is costume one acquired. Pretty good. Uh, now, we did pick up um, some other bits. Did we pick up a Gomagrid in that? What else did we pick up? No, we didn't. I don't think we did. Um... Now, we did pick up a new dress fee here, and that is the Floral Fallow. This is Yuna's variant of the special ones here, and this is very strong, by the way. Very magic heavy, this Floral Fallow. Very, very powerful, though, all things being honest here. Give me a little show of it here. Pretty heavy magic and magic defense, as you'd expect. Um, Falalari. Try saying that ten times really, really fast. All of the special dress spheres come with ribbon, by the way. You'll notice if Pain with, um, gets this as well with Full Throttle, which is pretty damn strong. But yeah, Full Fallow, very strong. All of these elemental-style attacks on all enemies. I uh, also get up Libra as well for, like, basically nothing. This is pretty sweet. Um, you can see Barrier for protecting against magical attacks. There's a physical one as well. Get tons of health. All life just revive part in from, from, from being knocked out. Incredibly powerful. And then you've got the side ones here with uh, redu you know, giving buffs here and protecting us, debuffing the opponents. And then you've got the left pistol, which is doing a lot of um, ability debuffs to your opponents. So, yeah, very, very strong these. And I will show off these soon. We'll get there. Right, so with that done, I think it's probably time for us to continue on our journey. And next up, I think, is going to be over to the moon flow. We've been seeing the Hypello dotted about promoting for one of Tobley's uh, events, whatever he's trying to get up to. So let's go see what's going down. Hello. No? That sounds bad. Should be over here somewhere, I suspect. There he is. But the tickets aren't selling. We'll end up with an empty house. That's like a full house with none of the people. What do you say? Will you help me sell tickets, that is? I'll cut the base price in half. Just sell, sell, sell for big, big profits. Mm, come on, Uni. Let's give it a shot. I feel like this is, used to be a longer cutscene, and for some reason they just cut out the first bit. I don't... I don't tie it up. Anyways, ship the team. With the Gullwings in charge, we'll sell out for sure. Imagine the crowds. The rest is up to you. So this is fairly straightforward. Um, not too difficult, realistically. What we've got to do is talk to the people on the south and north banks of Moonflow and sell as many tickets as possible. We just sell at least six for this mission to be considered complete. Also, if you didn't pick up the Gun Mage Dress Fear from Tobley in the first chapter, you'll be able to pick it up here as well. Uh, but any profits we can get off the top over 500 is ours to keep. Ah, that'll be fine. So, let's go chat with some folks. I don't think we need to go this way, but I could be wrong. That's good. So you can speak with people, basically, and they'll give you an idea of um, what they may or may not be willing to pay, pretty much. So do not mind it being a little bit pricey? So... Base price is 500, so if we can sell anything beyond that, we'll be able to make some more. Um, let's go for let's go for a thousand gil. You want to spend a thousand gil? Yeah, nice. All right, enjoy. Yeah, any promise beyond, you can keep. 
I don't think these guys are interested. Yeah, I don't think so. It's fine. If you can sell all 10 tickets, there is some extra bonuses for you here, but the main thing is just to make sure you sell these six. <laughs> I don't know. Um, hmm. You do a thousand. Yeah, no, you'll like one please as well. Sweet. All right, then. Making some cash. There are limits to what some people are and aren't willing to pay, by. but again, chatting with them initially will give you a rough idea of what you think you can go for them. Okay. Um, let's try a little bit more here. You think you're going to squeeze 15 out of you? If you go too high, they'll just say no. You know. All right, nice. I'm going to charge more than actually. They're happy. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> You do 1,500? Ah, oh, damn. That sucks. I don't know exactly who I can offer what, truthfully. I'm kind of guessing a little bit. Alright. Well, that's unfortunate. If you do get all 10, there is some extra accessories for you, but it's not a big deal. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, this guy might be interested. Dying to see it, eh? 2,000 gil, please. Yeah, alright. Max profits. Good stuff. Hmm. Doesn't seem particularly... Particularly too interested, does he? Um... Sure. Let's just cut them at 500. Some of you can get profits. So I know you can't get profits out of here, everyone. So. Right. Right. All aboard. All aboard. This guy. All right. Let's see if we can sell any more on this north road. I know there's quite a few people we can go to. I think we can go. There's a lot of people we can speak to to sell on this north side. <laughs> um. Probably? Man. I can actually buy you. Does a thousand gil count? Ah, oh, damn it. I mean, it was probably... That's probably last year, well, wasn't it? Hey, I just realized, by the way, um, the, the musicians are here. Hey, guys. <laughs> I bet. Oh, no. That's bad to hear. That sucks. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Okay. 1,500? Hmm. <laughs> this, is, this is not going well. I'm actually not selling too great here. Um. Can I interest you in Argent Inc. Inc.? I can! Oh, right. <laughs> That's not what I was after, but sure. It was cheap, huh? Mm. 500! Ah, I'm good. Let's just get some sales here. Let's not go too crazy. Alright. Um. 1,000 gil! Oh, right. Not bad. Pitch out of 10, sold 70. Only that, there is more than 10 people to chat to. You're only allowed to make 10 pitches. Well, did you sell? The ticket, I mean. Mm, we did all right. We couldn't sell them all. You did a good job. Not bad at all. Yeah. Oh, yes, oh, yes, before I forget. I've got to pay you your profits. Yeah, four grand. I, I know there's an extra accessory you get for, like, getting 10, but it's not a big deal. The important thing is to get six or more so we can get the Seething Cauldron Garment Grid. Well then, many thanks for your help. Oh, we're really looking forward to the show. Woohoo! Going save the day once again. Let's go have a look at it then. Seething Cauldron is your magic boosting grid. 
It's not bad. Plus 10 magic is better than it sounds. I don't know if I'd make four trips to get plus 15, but in a sustained fight, maybe you might need that. It's not too bad. All right. Done and dusted. So howdy everyone, future Black Shadow here, who's come by to, well, not to say save the day, but uh, to warn you of a bit of a trap in this mission, which I have learned of since recording. I come from the world of Chapter 5 and doing a bit of work to get a save ready to fight some of the crazy super bosses in this game. And yeah, I found out that what we did in this video was all well and good, and as far as like 100%ing the game, I think we did enough anyways. But it turns out that uh, if you don't sell every single ticket, you can't get what you need from this in Chapter 5. The way it works is that if you complete it, each of these little mini stories, if you complete the various points as you go, when you get to Chapter 5, you get what's known as an episode complete. Now, if you can get every single episode complete, I think like 15 of them, basically you can get access to one of the best dress spheres in the entire game, the mascot dress sphere. Very strong. I kind of can't do that because we only sold 8 out of 10 tickets. It turns out you have to sell all 10. It's the only thing that makes any lick of sense uh, to get hold of episode complete. It lets the scene in, in Chapter 5 be a little bit different, and then you get the stuff. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to go back and redo 20 to 25 hours worth of content. There is a workaround that I have available to you, but I want to let you know that that is a danger. So, what that means is that if you want to get hold of it, which is far more important, well, we got these tickets, right? We should probably go sell them now. My advice to you then would be just sell them all at the cheapest cost. Uh, the tickets can cost either base, either 500 or 1 grand. If he says that, I'll cut the price in half because you talked to Tobley. I think after completing the first mission, um, he'll sell them 500 instead so you can get hold of more money. But my advice to you, just sell everything at, at uh, 200 and just call it a day. It's, it's, my best, it's my best suggestion for you. Now, you'll obviously notice that we are gaining zero profit doing this. And that is obviously a bit of a problem. And I believe... Get out of the way. And I believe... I could be mistaken here. That... If you don't make money on these tickets... And you actually sell these at a loss... That you actually have to go ahead and make these up after the fact. And I believe the, the money ends up coming out of your pocket. I, I, I think... But everyone will take a ticket at 200. Almost every single person here will take them for at least 500. There's a couple of people, I believe, that won't take them for 500. But the more important thing, folks, is to sell every single one of these tickets and just absolutely just, just get people there. Don't worry about the money. All right, we can make like four or five grand. And if you've got like the... Get out of the way. And, you know, you can perhaps, you know, make even more than that if you're willing to kind of manipulate Sips a little bit. But truthfully, like, the amount of money is not that relevant, all things being considered. Like, you can make so much more money in other ways, especially in the HD International Master uh, version because of the Fiendarine, which is something I'll talk about later on in the series. Um, so, yeah, just just do this. Now, if you're worrying, you're thinking, well, hold on a sec, I'm selling all these tickets 200 and the base price is 500 or even a grand. Like, that's a lot of money that's about to come out of my pocket. Well, my suggestion, empty them. By this point, you probably, not guaranteed, but you probably have a walker on board the airship. So my suggestion to you before you come here is just buy every single thing you can and don't have any money. Because, of course, if you don't have any money in your bank account, well, what's totally going to go ahead and do about that? Simply splendid. Did you hear that, everybody? Too bad, too bad, no profits this time. Lastly, a little bonus for selling all the tickets. 
All right, looks like you didn't even lose money. I thought you did, uh, honestly speaking. And we still get our, our belt, the cauldron. I guess it's worth trying anything. <laughs> yep, yep, it was an absolutely amicable arrangement. Everybody's happy. Oh, we're really looking forward to the show. But yeah, that's my suggestion. When you get to this, just sell them all at 200. Don't worry about the money. A few grand is definitely nice, but it's not what's most important. Speaking of the walker, by the way, something else I want to quickly show you guys. So I haven't heard this thing in ages. I this one. So let's head back to the cabin. So we have been gradually paying off a walker's debt. Now later in this series, um, basically once you get into chapter three and you clear a walker's debt, uh, a walker will go ahead and leave the ship uh, to go and do what he needs to do in chapter three, and you meet him later on in there. However. If you pay off the debt before Chapter 3, a walker here will still stay on the ship here. You don't happen to know where a bloke can make some guild, do you? And you notice that he's got no debt there anymore because I've already gone ahead and cleared it. Now, what happens here is he'll stay on the ship for the rest of this chapter at least. And we can still buy from him. But look at these discounts. 90% discount on all items here. Pretty wild. Unfortunately, it only lasts for this chapter. Um, once he jumps ship and then eventually goes to sell up his shop, uh, he won't be able to sell you this stuff. He'll sell other things instead. But it does mean you can do something if you want. Miss Yuna, what can I do for you? Make me all of the money. These night high potions. Bah, who really needs these? They're not that important. Um, you know, Phoenix Downs. Ah, oh, we'll get some more from Battle Rewards. We'll be okay. Remedies. I'm never going to get sick. Holy Waters. I'm holy enough as it is. Get out of here. Okay. And actually, on second thoughts, uh, maybe, a, maybe a bit okay. of protection might be nice. Uh, you know, those high potions. I tell you what, Oaka. Um... Give me... Stop me up on those. I, I might need some of them, actually. Th those Phoenix Downs, they're pretty hard to come across. Uh, oh, I can't buy the Remedies. Whoops. But uh, the only one is definitely... And yeah. You can just... You can just... You can just do this. And the game will not stop you. And you can... You can just make infinite money. You can just... Just make infinite money. I'm not even doing this like to the absolute damnedest here, but I'm making what, like, let's see, 39 grand. This is just high potions, phoenix downs, and holy waters alone. 39 grand. Fifty-two grand. I'm making like 13,000 gil a time. If no effort. Is this cheesing? Maybe. Is it free? Definitely. Thank you. Could the developers have stopped you doing this? Absolutely. But they don't. So if you want to build up a healthy bank balance going into the next chapter, then by all means, Feel free to do this. Enjoy! So, where are we off to next then? You know, that's a good question. I'm curious to see what, uh, what Toby has in mind. <laughs> hey, we got four grand out of it. I mean, it's not too bad. We do for money wise, not too shabby. I've got a worker's debt as well, down to about like 15 grand or something, mainly paid for with the information from Guado Salam. So, you know, that is a good point. I've burned so much money this chapter. It is 